A Senate committee put top officials of the Federal Aviation Administration in the hot seat today. Senators demanded an update on the Boeing 737 MAX 8 grounding after two disastrous crashes. They questioned whether the FAA gave Boeing too much power to certify the safety of its own aircraft. Jesse Turner has more. Our core principle is safety. Federal Aviation Administration officials defended their close relationship with Boeing following the two deadly crashes of the company's 737 MAX airplanes. Maine Senator Susan Collins suggested the FAA and Boeing were too cozy. Safety concerns seem to be placed second to concerns about Boeing being able to meet its own timelines. But FAA Acting Deputy Administrator Carl Burleson says the FAA stands by its safety certification process. We do not and never have allowed self-certification of whether it's Boeing or any other product. To make sure similar crashes can't happen in the future, the FAA says it will fully evaluate Boeing's fixes to the aircraft, develop new training requirements, and support investigations and audits. But some lawmakers, like West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin, who is a pilot himself, want further action before the planes are back in business. I'm not getting on the 737 MAX till I see the president of Boeing and all his and hers associates be on that plane first. Manchin asked why the foreign pilots of the planes that crashed did not know how to turn off the computer system that investigators blame for causing the accidents. The FAA's top safety official, Ali Barami, suggested pilot error. What we know, the, the actions they took was inconsistent with what you would think. While the FAA has no timeline for when the MAXs could be back in the air, Congress demands to be kept in the loop. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.